Today, I am pleased to announce that India will be invited to join this group of nations as a full member next month. The US has just sent a special invite to India to join an elite global club called Pax Silica. This isn't just about politics, it's about who will control the brains of every smartphone, car and AI on the planet. This one move could turn India into the world's next big tech superpower. But what exactly is Pax Silica? Think of Pax Silica as a security guard for the world's technology. The name comes from Pax, meaning peace, and Silica, that is the material used to make computer chips. In simpler terms, it is a group of powerful countries working together to make sure that the supply of computer chips, which run everything from your phone to fighter jets, is never interrupted. The main goal of this group led by the US is to build a silicon piece. They want to make sure that no single country, specifically China, can bully others by cutting off their tech supply. By joining, members agree to share technology, invest in each other's factories and protect the raw materials needed to make electronics. Pax Silica started as a very small VIP-only group in late 2025. The founding members included the United States, Japan, South Korea, the UK and Israel. These are the countries that currently own the best technology and the biggest chip-making factories in the world. Other partners like the Netherlands, which makes the machines that print chips, and Singapore also involved. While India wasn't in the first list in 2025, the US ambassador to India, Sergio Gore, recently confirmed that India is officially being invited to join as the full member in February 2026. This puts India in the same league as the world's most advanced tech nations. But why is the US inviting India now? The US realized that they cannot secure the world's technology without India. There are three main reasons for this. The talent factor. According to data from India's Ministry of Electronics, 20% of the world's chip designers are already Indian. If you look at the top chip companies in the US, a huge portion of their brain power comes from the Indian engineers. The China plus one strategy. Global companies want to move their factories out of China to avoid political risks. India is the only country with the land, people and growing infrastructure to take China's place. Real progress on the ground. India is no longer just talking about chips. With the India Semiconductor Mission, big factories are already being built in states like Gujarat and Assam. Seeing this, companies like Microsoft have pledged to invest 17.5 billion US dollars in India by the late 2025 to build massive data centers. And how will this benefit the common Indian? Becoming a member of Pax Silica is a huge win for India's economy and its citizens. High tech chip factories, that is fabs, create thousands of high paying jobs for engineers and diploma holders, not just in software, but in hardware manufacturing. If India makes its own chips and get easy access to tech from Japan or the US, electronics like smartphones and electric vehicles could eventually become affordable. In the future, wars won't just be fought with tanks. They will be fought with AI and cyber tools. By being in Pax Silica, India ensures it always has access to the most advanced technology to keep its borders and data safe. In short, Pax Silica is India's ticket to becoming a global tech factory, moving away from just being a back office for the world.